I've learned so much this year and I'm going to be completely transparent with you. I wear this on the school run, I throw it over my jogger, I'm in trainers, I still look pretty casual. Mix that with the darts in the right place, the incredible fabric, they are perfect. This is masculine tailoring for a woman's body. You like a pair of trousers, just buy the blazer, I always say this to you. She has been in Harper's Bazaar. And let me talk to you about uh, being impressed as a brand. If a magazine comes to you, it's like, wow. I want to bring you something so perfect that has got that wow factor. Hello everyone, welcome to drop two of Rooslone. We made it, so I am going to leave you. I think I'll leave you with a little video and then tomorrow night I might share the main one. Um, but I'll leave you with a video to introduce you to a new piece and a new colour and then we'll come back and talk about it. I have a lot to say, a lot of things went wrong, I've learned so much this year and I'm going to be completely transparent with you. I don't want you to think everything's going perfect, I want to share some of my, my mistakes, things that I've learned, just so that you see the background if, you, if it's interesting for you. And it'll be amazing for you if you're thinking of starting up a small business, well we all start somewhere don't we, a business particularly in fashion, like a brand, but the strategies and mistakes apply to any business. So stay tuned to the end, I will leave you with the video and then I'll meet you back here. Okay, so they're the new pieces. I'm sorry if it's underwhelming. I mean, I'm so happy with the pieces and I'll explain everything that happened, but if you knew everything that happened, it's a miracle that we got here. And I am so confident in what I'm offering you, what we're offering you. I'm completely over the moon and I think next year we've just learned so much. So you would have seen, this is the new color. I am obsessed. So I discovered this fabric in Paris. And unlike these, these are from a mill, an Italian mill, and we made the colours ourselves and the texture and everything. Um, honestly, just thinking about that actually makes me get hot. Um, but this was different. This we actually found in Paris. It was discontinued. It was like a tiny bit of fabric that I found. The softness of this, I cannot explain to you. It's not like the same texture of the black and, and the English cream. It's a lot more fluid, and I mean, I love the way that the cream is. The cream is like structured, but soft. I won't name drop another brand that's doing similar for literally a zillion times the price for the same fabric, but theirs is very stiff and not soft to touch, where this is very soft. It's structured, but not stiff. This flows slightly, but it's still very much um, got a structure to it. This, with the way that it's tailored, has that structure, but it is so soft. I'm telling you, it's so soft. Like, the tailored trousers that I wear, which we'll get to, I literally can wear them around the house and they are more comfortable than most of my joggers. Because you know how joggers with the elastic can feel very um, tight and uncomfortable? The level of comfort for this suit, I am even like proud of myself for the fit because it's insanely comfortable. So this fabric, it's from Paris, found it in Paris was discontinued and it actually was meant to be with the launch but um, I thought too was a really nice launch colour and we basically had to track down the Italian mill and we basically had it remade again for Rue Sloan. So it's a very special fabric, it is the perfect grey, it's got a texture to it and I knew that pinstripes was going to be a thing and I wanted to beat the trend, hence why this took a year to process and a lot longer than these two because it was our own fabric. Um, but it's perfect in time for the pinstripe trend. The pinstripe trend is just hitting, so we've still beaten that, but pinstripe is all about pinstripe, and this is a very subtle pinstripe, um, and it just looks incredible. I'm very pale and, you know, fair-skinned and fair hair, and I just think that the core tones look amazing on me. The girls that I've seen try this on, because I have 
for the people that I, you know, that I know and I'm in contact all the time, if they were asking me, I was showing them and they've already started buying them. So we've already sold a massive chunk. Some of these, what you see here, but also this, um, and they just look incredible in it. It's just, it blows my mind and the way that like, it flows when you put your hand in the pocket. So that's the new color, Obsessed. It's got all of the beautiful high-end luxury Rousselon elements that you expect. It's got that beautiful lining, British lining, and this is a technique that they use in Savile Row. And it's not just for show and aesthetic, it's, this is more durable, it's so durable, and it's all about the fluidity. It has to be the right, the lining matches how your body moves. So there's a lot of movement in the arm and around the armpit, and we've catered to that with the lining. It's not just for aesthetics, it's actually gonna make your blazer, um, your garment last longer. And then in the pockets, we have, I mean, I still haven't opened, oh yes I have. It's got a tonal pocket here, which is a very durable British lining again, very durable so that when you put things in your pocket, it's not gonna be a hole, be a hole when things fall down uh, outside. And then it's got the pocket inside as well. So this has literally been made to fit your iPhone Maxi. And another one here, and that was designed, as you know, but just in case you missed the first round, I'm talking fast because I haven't meeting in half an hour. Still doing my other full-time job, FYI. It's very hot in this room because of all the skylights. Calm down, Claire. Um, and I'm also excited. Um, so I, as you know, um, some of you might not know, I love my mini bags. And I was just forever holding what, my phone because it's either too awkward to get in or I was like ruining it or they simply didn't fit. So I had the iPhone pocket made and then this one spare. So you can literally use it hand free. And I wear this on the school run. I throw it over my jogger. I'm in trainers. I still look pretty casual. I've got my phone in. I use it for the dog walk. You can just throw it over for an event, a little clutch bag, but you've got your phone in your pocket or you've got an awkward bag that can't open very well. It's just insanely practical for those pockets, and of course we've kept it with that. Of course it comes with the scrunchie. Uh, just to be transparent, they do not come free with the, trans with the, with the um, dusters. These are also like the fabric, because our margins are very small, it's actually quite a lot of fabric used and construction that's gone into it, and I was about to freak out then, I thought there wasn't the logo on. So yes, you do have to pay for those, but it's a very small amount. And I suggest that you do buy it because it does look amazing together and you know, for a small, for a small add-on. Now, the trousers. These trousers are perfection, especially in this fabric here because it is just so lightweight and so soft and so fluid. Now these do the talking for themselves. I didn't use any accessories in the videos because I really wanted you to see that Rousseau and Garments, they don't need dressing up and accessories to make it amazing. You can literally wear these on its own, no bell, no, no, nothing to add on to make it wow. They speak for themselves. But as you can see today, I've got the black ones on and this is the old Rousseau jumper, by the way, I wear it all the time. Um, there are belt holes for you to wear a belt, but I've done it in a way that it's uh, very flattering. It's not too thick, because the more thick the, the waistband is, the more unflattering it is. Can you see those pleats at the front? This is all the tailoring details that makes it fit well. It makes it drape well and makes it that luxury garment. Obviously the fabric is I say just I say 80% of making it fit well, but it's also the tailoring and the construction construction techniques. Pockets, working pockets with the British lining inside. The pockets are fake pockets so that it doesn't have unflattering pocket linings at the back. And the length, I mean I'm five foot six and I can wear these with heels or with flats and I actually love how they ruche up at the end. For me, it's just the perfect fit. But they're trousers, you can have these taken up and I've gone slightly on the longer length for the taller girls um, and you can easily take these up. You know, I just take mine to the dry cleaners. Um, so they're the gray ones. And then of course we have them to match the black and the English cream. Why are you not going in? And I have been living in them. So I've had my samples for about four months and I have been absolutely living in them. They are so comfortable. I wasn't even gonna do trousers to match the duster because the dusters, 
you just throw them with anything, an evening gown, a jogger, a jean, they go with everything. That was the intention. I never really, like maybe later down the line, but I literally just wanted a pair of black trousers, like a loose fit, tailored, slightly masculine, but also feminine. The menswear just wasn't cutting it because they cut menswear completely straight. And even for a woman like me with barely any hips, it doesn't fall right. And then you have to buy them super big and you literally look like you're wearing men's trousers. So these are a masculine fit for a, for a woman's body. And then mix that with the darts in the right place, the incredible fabric, they are perfect. But because they are a masculine fit, these will be okay for men. Like Paris has ordered a larger size because he wants them. And I do think if you're a guy and you've got obviously a man's body shape, you can totally wear these because they're a masculine fit. But please take note, this is masculine tailoring for a woman's body. And it took a lot of time. You know I'm a perfectionist. So they are so good. And if you look back on my photos on, on Instagram, I'm wearing them all the time. And you might even see new colors of me wearing them because I literally have been living in them. And they just look so good together. I've said on my channel for years that if you ever see a twin set, no matter what it is, skirt and a top, blouse, cardigan, jumper, buy the twin set, buy the suit. You like a blazer? just buy the trousers. You like a pair of trousers, just buy the blazer. I always say this to you because if it's a color you love and a, a fit that you love of a blazer, just buy the trousers, bite the bullet. This is not a new thing, I've said it for years. Because it makes it easy when you have those go-to suits. Like, if you have the trousers to go with the gray blazer, you know you have a go-to full look. You put on a white t-shirt, you put on your favorite shirt, your favorite blouse, put on a crop top, anything will work and you have that look. All you've got to do is think of a top because it's a classic look, classic colors, classic tailoring, anything will work and you've got that full look and you'll regret it if you don't. Especially when it comes to Rue Sloan, we're a small business. I still have people asking me when this set is coming back, when are the trousers coming back, when is this coming back? It's not coming back, we're a small business. I have so many ideas. Instead of just repeating this, I am bringing you a new knitted tracksuit. And yeah, when we get bigger and you all still want these, I'll bring them back. They will hopefully come back, but I don't want to spend money on repeating this when I've got so many designs, so many I want to share with you. So these will always be repeated, um, but maybe not in the same colors. So, you know, I have a lot of colors that I want to do. And if you don't, don't get the black or the cream this time, I'm not, I might not repeat it in 2024, especially for the gray. The seasonal colors, this will be a seasonal piece. And maybe, maybe in a couple of years, I might bring it back, but this will be a seasonal piece. So once this gray goes, it will be gone. And don't message me summer next year saying, when is it coming back? Because it's not coming back. Once it's gone, it's gone. The black and the cream, yes, we will continue to do them, but I'm, they still take a lot of work, like getting the fabric made, and I'd rather put that into other things to bring new things. Just checking you're still with me. Um, so yes, once they're gone, they're gone. You know that these sold out in 24 hours. We had a box that came in, so we, like late, so we were trickling the odd size. Um, but these dusters, they sold out overnight. This poor guy over here, I'm not lying, she got no credit or promotion whatsoever. I just didn't have the time. You know we have full-time jobs. You know we are parents to a three-year-old. We were renovating this space. We were trying to renovate a studio. It got one picture taken in my kitchen and that was it. And it still did great. I actually expected no one to buy them, but it still did great. As soon as I took a few pictures of it, um, it got picked up. It's been in Harper's Bazaar. She has been in Harper's Bazaar. And let me talk to you about uh, being in press as a brand. Neither are bad. The first way to get into press is that you contact brands, you hire a publicist. A good publicist is like from £2,000 a month. You hire them and they get you in magazines with their contacts. This is not bad because if you're at the position where you can pay £2,000 a month to get into a magazine, good on you. Your business is flying. Uh, you've obviously got the means to do that and it shows your success and it's not a bad thing. The second way is that you simply contact any, anyone who's available to buy. You can be in Vogue magazine, British Vogue, Italian Vogue, 
if you can pay the right money. Yes, it's insanely expensive, but you can pay to be impressed. Of course you can. Um, you have to fit, fit slight, slight criterias, but trust me, I've seen it, and if the money is right, they'll put you in there. I'm not talking about Vogue now, I'm talking about, like, as a whole, the press. The third way to get in, which I'm sorry is the best way, is when they contact you. You don't have to pay, because you're worthy. I'm not saying the other people aren't worthy, but you get what I mean. If a, brand, if a magazine comes to you, it's like, wow. And it means that you've been noticed on your own back because it's, it's amazing. So I was approached by Harper's Bazaar. Um, lesson for small business, I had, I had an inkling and we were going to our France house for anything from six to, to eight weeks. I took one with me. I didn't take the dusters with me I, and I had room in the car. I took this with me, a brand new one, in the bag with all the packaging. I just took it with me. The day that we arrived, they contacted me and we literally sent it the, the following day. We drove to like 45 minutes to a DHL depot. So go with your intuition when it comes to things like this. Always be prepared. You're going away for a long time and you're making candles, take a candle with you. You might see an amazing location. You're like, damn, I wish I brought my product with me. And I could do an amazing video here. You can always create content. Maybe you meet the right person and you want to give it to them or, or just show them, or maybe a press will contact you and you've got it. So amazing lesson. Go with your intuition and always be prepared and organized because if I hadn't have taken that with me, and gone with my instinct, we never would have made it in Harper's Bazaar. So that's that. This is still available, by the way. We restocked these and we didn't even promote it. I didn't promote it on my Instagram. I promoted it like two weeks after, um, but it went on my Instagram and it was just set in. Like people were going on the website all the time, which still blows our mind. Um, and then as soon as we shared the Harper's Bazaar piece and I took a few photos with it and did a styling haul, like. I'm not sure I'll put it in the corner or link it below. Um, but then it's selling insanely. So we restocked those, but they're pretty low in stock now. But these are still available. Again, we will always do these. They're iconic Tallulah um, duster, but they take six months to make. They are hand beaded. Um, this is our Rue Sloan brand color. So we had to make this and sometimes they they do the whole fabric and it's not the right tone. It'll be too gray, too dull, and they'll have to redo it. And then it sets it back another six weeks. So once these go, it will be a good six months. And just to give you the heads up, I'm stopping production on these to introduce another pearl piece, but it will go with this. So don't think I'm gonna hold out and see what it comes with. It goes with this. So if you've got this, it's gonna go with it. And yeah, it's completely different, but I can't do both. Um, so I think that's it. We still got the scrunchie for these. I won't keep you too long. I was gonna talk a lot more about business, but I just wanna keep this short and sweet. How are we doing? I might focus. We are interjecting because you might have heard me say in that video, am I blurry, am I blurry? I was blurry for 10 minutes. So I'm just gonna refilm that bit because I really, it's annoying when something's blurry. So. I'm literally about to do the school run. I did blow dry my hair, luckily, but it's, um, I haven't done anything to the end. But, oh, genuinely, this is my outfit that I wore today. Um, I'm about to leave in five minutes to pick up uh, Honoré, and I'm wearing the Rousseau trousers. I literally do wear them all the time. So, let me quickly fill you in on what was blurry. Now, there was something, I'm gonna touch on a little bit what went wrong. Um, but I am going to save that for a whole new video. Basically, I have a sample to show you, and I was going to show you in this to say this what this was meant to be coming with this drop. But unfortunately, from lessons learned, I have to be very careful because um, production time normally takes three months for anybody. It's my blush I blended in. Um, and if I show you, we've got another two months of production on this and someone else could get it out before us. And I've learned the hard way that that does happen. So as much as I would love to show my community this amazing sample, I have to be really careful on who's watching. I've seen small businesses do it and even businesses, maybe a brand that begins with S, F, and the next word it starts with S, they might have done a duster three months after ours identical, same colours, no difference except for bad fit and bad fabric. And um, they even called it the London. So um, yeah, I'm not gonna show you, but basically what happened was 
we got the fabric, we got the sample, it is sensational, it's very unique and something happened with the fabric. I got offered another fabric, well another like bunch of fabric that we found and I really, really like it and we made a sample and it looks amazing. But the other one is like an 11 out of 10. It's a tiny bit more flattering because the placement of things and it just blew my mind when I saw it. So I want to bring you something so perfect that has got that wow factor. And if I made it, I could have made it in the other one in time for this and it was still amazing and a really strong piece. But the other one was just here, like, you know, 10's here. I feel like the other one was here and this one was here. So I hope you can appreciate that I'm really working on pieces that are just 10 out of 10 pieces, flattering on all levels, uniqueness. I want it all covered. So, and you know what? The factory that I use, I'm so grateful for her. She is a woman that owns it, not that I'm sexist, but um, I'm so grateful that I found her because the one advice that she gave me and this is going to be really good for anyone that's starting a business, you've just started a business. Um, and it will help you in the fashion industry for sure, but I think it applies to all industries. Just checking we're not doing another blur. She said to me, because we had something awful happen on the first run, and she said, this is going to happen. You can't change it. Just see how you can move forward. Don't let it stress and make you ill because I wasn't eating, I lost weight, I lost sleep, I was literally a nervous wreck about the whole thing and I've really taken her advice, you know, even in life that it's happened, bad things happen and do you know what, when we first done our, our duster sample, it was made really well, I was really happy, it was made in London, it was meant to launch in September, three weeks before the launch day, I got a call saying, no I actually didn't hear from them and I rang them and they said, oh we're not doing your order anymore. It's like, we just feel like some parts are too in intricate and we don't feel confident. And I was so gutted that I then had to launch in December. That's why we launched in December. I didn't want to launch then. And look what happened. I found this amazing factory. I won't say what other brands they make because I'm just not allowed, but it's sensational. The way that they can do all the intricate, like for people that know tailoring, like to get the shoulders construction, as perfect as it is, you need you need really good manufacturer and it all worked out for the better. So I'm a strong believer in that and I think you should take that advice with life. And you know, it's fine. If that piece that I was meant to launch hasn't worked, it's fine, just expect it for Christmas. We have amazing things coming Christmas. I have kind of like focused extra hard on this, you know, like getting this fabric made was, took us so much time and energy, but it's perfect. And we're bringing more in December and it's all pieces you haven't seen. Completely different vibe, part of that capsule wardrobe. I'm really excited for December, so make sure you're following along. Completely different to this though. Um, talking about other brands, because I just want to touch on the trousers. Um, I think it wasn't blowing when I was telling you about the fabric, but basically this blazer, sorry if I'm repeating, the duster, the fabric of this is so sensational, you know that. It's equivalent with the brands like Saint Laurent, The Row, like there's no going around that, you know, they're similar. Um, and we all take inspiration from somewhere, but we're using similar fabrics, similar quality, similar tailoring, and ours are like £4,000 less. I really want to make it as affordable as possible. Now, the trousers, I just wanted to touch on. Um, I'm just going to share facts because I'm not saying anything bad, but Frankie Shop do do similar trousers. I saw them recently and uh, they are 100% polyester and I think they're between £250 and £300. My advice to you, if you can't afford our, our ones and our 100% wool ones and you want to create the same look, of course that's going to happen. If you're going to buy the polyester, buy at polyester prices. Don't, don't for £250, £300, you should be able to get good quality. Um, so buy them from a high street store like Zara because you'll be able to get something similar for around £50 with, with polyester. Um, don't waste your money on brands that for someone as big as them, the volumes will be high. It's polyester, it's made in China. I'm not against made in China by the way. Um, because there are actually some parts of China that are super advanced. Um, but, I'm worried about the school run. Um, Basically, it'll probably cost them £10. So don't let people rip you off. The quality of these, like we use, um, we, with the fabric at the, in the pocket, it's all proper, durable, British lining. So it's really durable for when you use your pocket. The, um, 
The back is a fake pocket so it's flattering, the darts are in the exact right place so that they drape perfectly and the fabric obviously speaks for itself with how it drapes and the feel and this is so soft, it's amazing. The waistband is the exact perfect fit, like width, so that it's not too, uh, it's not unflattering because the thicker it is here the more unflattering it will be. Everything has been thought about in these trousers and it will reflect in the price but I think our, our margins and our prices were super fair because we're both so passionate we'd rather lose some money and me have something because I wear these I want to have something that I love um, and we're really passionate about the fabric and we are really doing our best with that I actually know the cost price of these but I don't even know what I'm selling them for myself because I'm trying to get like a really good deal like we we'll lose money this time but Hopefully by next time it will all, all balance out and I'm really hoping to get you a better price so that I can lower it ever so slightly. But I'll leave you with the rest of the video. The video. I need to do school run in my rose stone trousers. Um, I'll leave you with the rest of the video where I'm just saying goodbye and yeah, see you on the second. Enjoy the rest of the video. That was it. I knew there was one thing. So, I need to talk about the discrepancy in the colours just to let you know. Now, as I explained to you, we dye this and it's natural, so we don't use any like metals to create a perfect colour. If you were buying this in polyester, we could repeat the colour for a hundred orders, but because this is natural fabric and we dye it each time, like the pearl jackets, um, the, the colours might be a slightly different. Now, I've kept my, my duster from last season and I have the new colour trousers and if you really look at it in the light, to someone that you know works with fabrics or you've just got that kind of eye, you will see that there's a slight discrepancy in the color. I really wanna be honest with you, it's natural dyed, it's not polyester. We haven't got a pant on that we can create the exact same, it's slightly different. Now I, there's plenty of jackets, I could take a new one for myself, but I have got a mix and a match. In the photos that you'd have seen, it's all the same from the new order, but I have kept old duster, new trousers, and it's fine. I have an old one of these and new black. The black you can't really see. I mean, maybe under a microscope you maybe can, but to my eye, and I've got a good eye, I can't see it. But if you've got one of these blazers already, these dusters already, and you want the cream trousers, I'm just warning you, there'll be a slight discrepancy, but it is all the same, and I've kept the same. So um, it shouldn't be a problem. Now when, I, like once I bought a tracksuit from Pangaea and these are all, Pangaea, Pangaea? They're all natural dyed, aren't they? So I ordered a gray tracksuit a couple of years ago and I was really annoyed, not annoyed, but I was like, what is this? The jumper was like five shades different than the trousers. So they were clearly different batches and I understand how they're naturally dyed and it's not all the same, but I couldn't believe that buying it as a pack they weren't the same. So it's just something that happens. I mean, at least with this, if you order the set today, on Tuesday, it's gonna be exactly the same. So I'm just bear telling you to bear in mind that if you wanna buy this and you're like, oh, I'll buy the trousers later, you might have to buy it in the next batch and it will not be the same color. So I just wanna explain, if you've got this from last year and you wanna buy the trousers, it'll be slightly different, but it'll be fine. I've even kept it. Um, if you wanna buy this duster, and you think I'll buy the trousers next time, I'm just warning you it'll be a different batch and slightly different. But that's it, I've got everything done. Thank you so much for your support. I know, I know I've already said that. Um, it's been so hard for Paris and I, having our full-time jobs and everything, but I'm so glad we've got to offer you something. And trust me, look forward to December because we've got a whole different vibe coming and it's incredible. But um, I'll see you on Tuesday. Go head over to Rue Sloan and Claire Chanel and you can see me styling them a bit more. Um, but yeah, I was meant to do a 10 minute video, but here we are, half an hour. Thank you so much. Um, see you on the second.